Hey there everyone, Hitesh here, back again with another video. In this video, I want to talk about laptops. So you're watching this video because you really want to buy a new laptop. Now there are a lot of constraints uh, that you take care while buying a laptop. And obviously you're on this channel, that's why most of your interest is about programming. So you want to make an app for iOS or maybe an Android, maybe you want to go with the game development, or maybe you simply want to go with web development. I would be addressing all of those guys as well as will include the budget constraints. So people who are having the budget issues, people who are under 50k and people who are under 25k. So there is a lot more to discuss and in fact too much of the topics need to be discussed in just one video. So without any further ado, let's get started and talk about laptops for programming. First and foremost, there are laptops for different configuration for different kind of specific people. People who want to go iOS, Android and a ton of things. First of all, let me address for the people who are having no budget issues. Uh, therefore, simply saying that they really don't care whatever the budget cost is. They just want to make a one-time investment and that's it. They want to do all kind of development on that regardless of iOS, Android, game, web and pretty much anything. For those people who have no budget issues, I would recommend either two of the things. And yes, you guessed it right there. I'm going to talk about the Apple products there. So don't bash me over there. Yes, it's kind of a thing. Now, if you have no budget issues, I would recommend you to go for an iMac. If you can afford, go with the big one. Or uh, in case you don't want to go with the stable things on a desktop, uh, simply go and uh, look out for a laptop. And that would be the recent 2017 model, the Space Gray one in the Apple. Now, yes, this is an overpriced laptop, but for the amount that you are paying, you are actually getting quite a lot of things. And in fact, you are a guy who is like me, who produce a lot of code on Android, iOS, web, as well as do a lot of rendering of these videos to upload on YouTube. I think that is your answer. And again, making sure that you don't have any budget constraint because these laptops are quite heavy on the pocket. So that is for those guys who have no budget issues at all. Now let's address to the people who are having a big budget issues. Now, if you have a big budget issues, then therefore there are some compromises that you have to make. Now, it's not like that you are going to get uh, in just 10,000 or 15,000 the best laptop on which you can do everything. No, it's not like that. If you're cutting the cost, you have to cut up into some features as well. Now, in order to get started, I have categorized things into three things. First of all, people who want to do iOS development, Android and web as well. And especially when I include the variable here with the iOS development, things get changed because I have to again go for uh, the Apple product. Now the second category that I've categorized is for the people who just want to do Android as well as web development. And third and the last category in which you only really want to do just web development. Now obviously the cheapest one is the last one which is having just a web based category, just web, nothing else. And the most uh, higher than that is the Android one and the finally the Apple one. I have written all this information in an amazing blog. So go ahead and visit the website uh, learncodeonline.in which is major website here and go into the contact us and I have a link to the blog here. So we do regularly write out a lot of blogs and I recommend you to check out this. Just 25 minutes ago, I have written this. Check out the top five programming laptops under 50K and 25K. So click on this link and here are my recommendations. So for the iOS development, I would recommend to go with the uh, MacBook here. Now this is a MacBook Air, uh, not the amazingly uh, expensive one. It can just do the job. So just click on this images and they will take you the link. And I'm not saying to buy from these links or from other links, just note down the model number and just look out wherever you can find the best deals. So this is the first recommendation and this laptop is good enough for all kind of iOS, Android, game, as well as web development. For the Android users, there are three options that I could have picked up and the first one is Lenovo IdeaPad and this is the one which I have recently purchased. It's an amazing laptop and but the only problem is it comes with a DOS base. So your Windows expenses is totally on you. So click on this guy and amazingly you will notice in the bottom here is that there is a newer model. Now make sure you keep an idea of the specs here as well because this guy comes with a 2 GB of Nvidia graphics and this guy comes with the integrated graphics. So that means although it's a newer version as the Amazon is saying but still it's a little bit lower in the configuration. So I would recommend this guy. 
And uh, this is really am amazing. This is under 45,990, uh, which is under 50K. So I think this is a good stealer deal. But again, your Windows expenses are not included here. Now, I also recommend this guy because a lot of people just want to go with the Linux one or the DOS one. HP. Now, I haven't uh, looked into much on the what is the brand here. I'm just looking for the specs much here. So you can go ahead and look for this guy. And uh, this is a 6th gen Core i5. 8 GB, 1 TB DOS, 2, uh, 2 GB graphics. Uh, the only thing that I would say the difference between this Lenovo and HP is the HP one has a better screen. So in case you're looking up for the graphic design, and I think this represents much towards the true colors and the, and the colors in the Lenovo IdeaPad is not so amazing. In fact, I don't recommend this laptop if you're looking for the graphic design. And this one is much more. Again, uh, both of them are good, but nowhere near true color just as the Apple produces on its screen. Okay, and the final one is the Linux. Uh, it's really optimized with the Linux and it's a 7 gen uh, core i5 processor, uh, 8 gigs, 2 gigs of the graphic cards. Look out for the more specs here. Uh, this is again in the 41,990. It's kind of a stealer deal. I would uh, check, recommend you to check this out once in a while. Okay, so these three laptops are perfectly good enough uh, to get you get started on Android uh, as well as web as well as on the game development as well. And the final one which won't break your bank but is not the best laptop uh, on the planet. You won't be able to do any kind of Android or game development easily on this. Uh, but for any kind of web including uh, front end, React, Angular, PHP, .NET, Django, whatever you want to go. For any kind of front and back end web, this is kind of a stealer laptop. And you will be surprised that this laptop is just 24,990. Uh, and uh, it comes with a 6 gen core i3, uh, 4 gigs of RAM, 500 gigs of uh, storage, uh, Linux, and integrated graphics. More than enough for any kind of web developer. But again, uh, I would recommend you to check out this blog for more information. I have written uh, kind of a detailed blog here for giving you all the information. So these are just my recommendation. Uh, check on these links and note down the model number as well as the specs and make sure uh, you just look out for wherever you can get the best deal. Just grab it there. Now these are some of the selected lists that I have selected for you uh, for the best possible laptop I could have found. And as I mentioned, yes, there is one which I have purchased recently. Now over the months, I have actually avoided this topic of the best laptop because of a very specific reason. Now usually when I recommend somebody to just, hey, you can buy this laptop, people just come at me and say, why not Dell? Why not this one? Why not this one? Hey, if you are looking up for that laptop, you really want to buy that, go ahead, buy that. I don't have any problem with specific laptops or specific brand or anything. Uh, just go ahead with that. But people usually come to me that, hey, why are you recommending this one? Why don't you recommend the Alienware or Dell this model or Acer this model? I have no problem at all with any brand or laptop. Just go ahead, buy that one. And the second biggest issues that I have faced over the years is uh, usually my friends and some of my uh, relatives usually take me to buy a laptop and I just give them whatever the best they could have in that budget. But the problem arises after a few months because those people really don't know how to handle a hardware like computers. And over the times by usage of the pirated windows and a ton of pirated software not maintaining their machines nicely, eventually their laptops start slowing down and they just come again to me, hey, you have given us a laptop which is not amazing, not good, why you have done to this? Now, I haven't done anything to that. I have just suggested you, it's totally your decision to buy it or not. Now, I would recommend all of you to check out the link on this blog, as well as to just note down uh, simply the model number and the specification. Wherever you can find the best deal, just buy from there. It can be Amazon, laptop, or maybe your local vendor. All I'm saying is, uh, these are just the recommendations, okay? So that's it for this video, and I'll surely catch you up in the next one. Hey, 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 you haven't yet subscribed to this channel. Make sure that you hit that big red button that says subscribe, and let's be a part of this amazing programming family. I'll surely catch you up in the next video.